Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we're going to be doing a review of The Vikings, a history by Robert Ferguson. And this is the second book I'm reviewing for the March Irish Readathon. And you might be wondering why I have a book on Vikings as an Irish book. Um, but one of the uh, challenges was to read a book with green on the cover. And, you know, the sky and the sea are the, kind of this turquoisey green, so I definitely picked that. Plus, I knew there would be some coverage on the Hiberno Norse civilization in Ireland, so I thought, you know, it was still kind of appropriate. So let's get started. Now, to start with the bad, the book is kind of dry. Um, there's a lot of political narrative sort of history where he basically just goes area by area and discusses, you know, who did what and when, that sort of thing, which he does cover really well, um, and is pretty thorough, but like I said, it does kind of drag on in some spots, so if you don't like history books that do that, probably not for you. Um, also, I felt that a lot of information on the cultural side of the Vikings was definitely missing. There was a few, a few spots where he covered some stuff, but basically the only thing that the author covers in depth on society and culture of um, the Viking Age was uh, the judicial and legal aspects of uh, some of the countries, especially of Iceland. But I just felt that a lot of the regular other types of social history definitely should have been in the book, which they weren't. Now, for the good, like I said, he does cover pretty much every area of Viking expansion thoroughly. Um, that includes Western Europe, including, you know, Britain, a good section on Ireland in the Hibernian of Civilization, Scotland, uh, the Norman, or the founding of Normandy, as well as the other invasions into uh, the Carolingian Empire. He also covers uh, the Eastern voyages and uh, explorations, such as uh, the Swedes going to uh, Kiev and founding Kiev and Rus, and uh, all the way to uh, Byzantium and that sort of thing. As well as the uh, Norwegian exploration, excuse me, yeah, excuse me, the Norwegian explorations west uh, to both Iceland and Greenland, as well as uh, the Americas. So I felt he did cover. Oh, he also covers the home fronts, basically what eventually what were to become the kingdoms of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. He covers them pretty well too. He also cites his sources really well, which I always enjoy with a history book. And I felt that he did a good job. Um, Relaying like, in his uh, narr political narratives, uh, tidbits such as on like the etymology of you know, certain Viking names, and also just little pieces of information that tried to spice up the narrative, which I think he kind of knew he had to do because it was largely a political narrative. The book also included some nice plates as well, and I definitely appreciated that he included um, several maps throughout the book in the positions that the the are talked about instead of just at the front of the book that's definitely a plus and there's more turkeys out back there if you remember a video from back there that's why I keep looking at the window uh, but anyways I definitely enjoyed the book overall but like I said it can be a little bit dry if you don't like histories that do that probably I'd stay away from this one but anyways so four stars out of five to the Vikings by Robert Ferguson remember read victoriously